Alrighty, so today we're going to be mining the Monero cryptocurrency on our Raspberry Pi. Monero is a cryptocurrency that's mined using the CPU, the central processing unit, rather than a graphics card. And that is why it's better to be mined on the Raspberry Pi over some other cryptocurrency like Ethereum, Bitcoin, or something that are heavily mined using the graphics card. So it's not that hard to set up, and I do want to warn you guys, the profit is not going to be that much. But it's still a cool project. If you have a spare Raspberry Pi laying around, you might want to do this project. And it's just a fun thing. So let's get started. So we're over on our desktop right here. And so we have the Monero logo right here. But before we do anything, we're actually going to need the Raspberry Pi imager. And so as our operating system, we're going to be using Raspberry Pi OS Lite. You could go with full Raspberry Pi OS. But it's just not worth it because it's going to use too much resources and Raspberry Pi OS Lite is good enough. So go right here, download the Raspberry Pi Imager. It's available for all operating systems, so you don't have to worry about that. Download it for your system right there. And then what you're going to do, you're going to open it up right here. And we're going to need to select Raspberry Pi OS Lite over any other version. So choose OS, we're going to go Raspberry Pi OS Other, and we're going to choose Raspberry Pi OS Lite 32-bit. Choose storage, it choose your SD card, but before we do flash, I do want to mention I'm going to be doing all of this from my Mac right here, so I'm not going to be using anything else. Like, I'm not going to use a monitor or anything, so I want to use SSH to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and enable SSH right here, and I'm going to type in a password that I want my Pi to be called. So this way, I don't have to use a monitor for this process at all. I can do it all from my terminal on my Mac right here. So it's a really cool thing that you don't even have to use a monitor. So I recommend setting up SSH like this and click Save. Once you've chose Save, click Choose SD Card and then click Flash. And bam, once that's done, plug it into your Pi. Boot up your Pi and then we're gonna you can find the IP address of your Pi with an app like Thing on your iPhone or there all there's all these IP scanners. Just use one of those scanners, find your Raspberry Pi's IP address, and then we're gonna open up a terminal. So I'm gonna open up my Mac right here. I'm gonna go to terminal. If you were on Windows, you could just type CMD or on Linux, terminal also works. So right here we're in my terminal. I'm gonna type SSH Pi because that's the username at my IP address, which is 192 dot one six eight dot zero dot three three it's gonna wait a second and it's gonna then I'll be able to SSH right into my Pi without having to use a monitor whatsoever Alrighty, so once you're in your SSH right here, the first thing you always want to do once you boot up an operating system on your Raspberry Pi is check for updates because you always want the latest updates. So we're going to type sudo apt update because if we don't have the latest updates, we might be missing some important packages or different things like that. So just type sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. I don't have any upgrades because this must be a new release of Raspberry Pi OS Lite because I'm good right here. So make sure you have everything and everything is updated. And once that is done, we're actually going to have to create an account on a website called MinerGate. So this is where we're going to store all our coins that we mine, all our Monero coins. So on our MinerGate right here, we're going to just, I already made an account, but if you don't have an account, just I'll leave a link to right here and go to sign up and si make an account. Click login with your password. It may take a second. And then once we're logged in here, we're actually going to have to find a few credentials that are important for this service to work. So here we are, and it says minor grade, and it says your invoices, which I don't have anything yet because I have not mined yet. We're actually going to click right here, mining pools, and we're going to go to Monero XMR because that's the coin we're going to be mining. So give it a second. My internet is kind of slow right now. Once you're over on the Monero XMR mining pool part, you're going to scroll down and right here you're going to see your difficulty, your st stratum server URL, and the port and your username. So these are pretty important for us so we can mine. So we're going to need to remember our username and our port. So keep those in mind. Just leave this tab open so you don't forget. But to do this CPU miner, we're actually going to have to get a few dependencies and it's over on their GitHub page right here. So right here it says note for Debian Ubuntu users so copy all these dependencies these are needed for the miner to work correctly so just copy this open up back your terminal git or no sudo and then paste those in there hit enter and just click Y and enter so now we'll get all the needed dependencies so that our miner can just work correctly so like I was saying earlier you're obviously not going to be 
profiting much at all. And in one of my last videos, I talked about the Dorino coin on the Raspberry Pi, which is a coin meant for the Raspberry Pi. You, you can actually make a little bit more with that than Monero, but Monero is more known and it's more popular than that coin. So now we have all the dependencies, we're actually going to have to get clone the project. So go right here to code and copy this command right here. And then we're going to type git clone and we're just going to paste that URL in there. We don't have git installed, so sudo apt install git and git is needed for this process. Okay, why? And git is just basically a command on Linux to be able to get clone GitHub projects. So yeah, let that thing catch everything from the internet and then we'll just get clone the project cd right into it and we'll start mining so it's actually a really easy project to do and if you have a spare pie laying around this is really cool so right here we are and just hit the arrow key two times get that command right here it says cloning into cpu miner multi and let that finish so now we are done with that and what we're going to type is c cd cpu miner dash multi hit right there and we're actually gonna have to build a few things I actually made a text document right here let's just carry that over to my right desktop and because these commands are a bit hard to remember so the first one is pseudo autogen.sh so these are just like building it from source basically so it may take a bit of time to just generate all the needed files for this configuration and then we're gonna copy pseudo configure and this is also everything is in the description so don't worry about that at all hit enter and it's just checking everything and the last command is actually going to build it and the build one definitely does take a bit longer than these ones but it still doesn't take that long to actually build it on your system so that is kind of good copy the build command right here and it's going to start building it on our system so just be patient for this one so once it's done building right here we can see it's done building so we're actually going to be able to start the miner right now so we're going to copy this command right here and this is pretty important oh i didn't mean to do that Control c so right here, this command right here where it says your email, you're going to type in your email that you signed up with the miner gate with. So mine is lukefrenner2 at gmail.com. And but right here is important also your port right here, 45700. If you look over at the website right here, that is my port. So you need to remember your port so that if it's different than that one, you'll be able to change it or it will not work. So type in all your credentials, everything that is for you that you can find on that website hit enter right now it's going to try to mine at first it may take a little bit because it's trying to connect to the server to make sure it's mining for the right person so right here it says shroud difficulty set to 1000 so let's say you want it to mine a bit harder right now it's running at normal if you want it to run at high you can actually change the port to do 45704 and you'll actually probably make a little bit more but for me high is good enough right now if we go back right here it still hasn't started mining. It may take a little bit. Oh, here we go. We are mining right here. So right now I'm getting about 3.01 hash rate per second. So, I mean, it's not the greatest, but we are mining on our Raspberry Pi right now. Let's go over to our wallet and check out and see if it's actually mining. So open up our browser right here, go to the same website and go to dashboard. This website does tend to be a bit slow for me too. So that might be something that you might encounter too. I don't know why it just like doesn't load very fast and I got a server error right now so there might be some problems with this miner gate server so you see I am mining right now so let's go over to our dashboard right here and find out if we're actually mining is it even working so I'm actually having some issues right now I can't get the dashboard to actually show up on my internet connection right now so I don't know what's going on with that because before it did work there must be some bug in their server because a minute ago you saw it said their server was down but I'm not exactly sure what's going on about that but you shouldn't worry it actually does work pretty well but over here on our thing you see I mean I'm mining and it's I can see my hash rates I can see how much power I'm using and it's working really well well let's say you don't want to have to go and do this every time you boot up your Pi. You don't want to have to go find this command and start it. You want to just to you want to start mining every time you just reboot your Pi. Well, there's a way to do that. So let's go over to our desktop and do that. So to stop the mining, just go Control C, and what we're gonna type right here actually is cron tab dash e, and it says select editor. I use Nano as my main. One, so I'm gonna click one and hit enter, and we're actually gonna scroll all the way to the bottom right here. 
and right here we're actually going to copy this command. So what this command does, it, it basically says at the reboot, go to the CPU miner multi folder right here, and just start mining. So we're going to copy this command, paste it in there, and where it says your email, you're going to type in your email that you used earlier to start mining. And we can actually scroll back right here to make sure that everything is working correctly. I mean, let's go back and it says at reboot, our CPU miner multi, and it says our port number right here, 4570, and it looks like it's good. So let's start mining. So we're to save this, you basically go control X, hit Y, and enter. So now if you reboot your Pi, it should automatically start mining every time. So it's really useful that you don't have to go into the folder, type in that long command and start mining. It does it all for you. It is really awesome. But for now, let's go start mining one more time. So here we are, we're mining. And yeah, so this is mining Monero on the Raspberry Pi. So it's a pretty cool thing that you can do it this easily. And like a low single board computer like the Pi, it would be cool to like make a cluster and have all of them together and be mining like that. It would be really interesting to see how much profit you can actually make. But with one Pi, you're obviously not gonna be making that much money because it's a slow powered single board computer. It's obviously not some powerful CPU. So it's understandable, but it's still a cool project and I recommend checking it out because it's fun to do. I love doing things with my Raspberry Pi. So hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.